In this video, we'll look at installing the agent for Acronis CyberProtect in a Mac. To install the agent for Mac, first log in to the Acronis CyberCloud management console for Acronis CyberProtect. Once logged in, click on the Devices tab, and then select the Add New button at the top right-hand corner of the screen. You will be presented with all of the different installer options available. Today, we're going to select the Mac. You will see the package download into your device and also will be presented with installation instructions. The download may take a while. Please be patient. Please be sure to have the credential for registering programs onto the Mac. After the download completes, you can then start the installer. Click on the install button on the installer. Press the continue button and you'll be presented with a place where you can adjust the installation location. Click on Install to complete the process. The installer will then run. This may take a minute. Once the installer is completed, you'll be presented with the screen to register the machine. Click on the button. You will then be brought into the management console and be presented with a device registration area. Please note that you'll automatically be receiving a registration code, and then you can press the Confirm Registration button. Once you have successfully completed the registration, you'll be presented with the success screen. Press OK and you will see that your device has now been added to the list of devices in the system. To complete the registration, you will need to grant full disk access to the Cyber Protection Agent. So open up the Security and Privacy section, click on the lock icon in the bottom corner, and drag the applications to the full disk access table so that they can may access this disk. Your device is now successfully registered in the system. You can click on the device in your list and then be presented with the details area in the right pop-up panel. You can see that we've loaded the Mac agent for this Mac. Your next step will be to go ahead and create a cyber protection plan for this device.